Hello everybody. Welcome to the stream. Welcome to the channel. I bet you were hoping for my face, weren't you? <laughs> What's it worth? What's it worth? Hello to everyone in the chat very quickly. Hello Jesse. Hello Game Diction. Hello Peter. Hello Ollie. Hello Hunter. Uh, hello to myself. How disappointed are you not to see me yet? <laughs> Are you ready? Waiting for some sort of response. Got no response. I'm surprised a lot. <laughs> God, I have to leave you suspended a little bit. I can't just give it to you, can I? Well, I'd like to thank everybody that has subscribed to the channel. This is obviously my 1000k face reveal that I promised when I was around 500 subs. Uh, and that exploded very, very quickly. And uh, with COVID-19, I wasn't quite prepared with a camera or anything. So it is a little bit delayed. Hello, Glenn Baxi. Hello. Welcome. Uh, okay. What have we got here then? Oh, still no face. But here we go. Here's our lovely flat plane that we will be flying today. This is the A319 Thin Air livery just for Jesse. And everybody is ready. <laughs> I still think a little bit of suspense will do good. Just a little bit. Love a countdown. I wish you guys could talk. I wish I had you set up with my Discord. Okay. Five. Four. Three. Two. One. Hello. Hello. Oh, there you go. Not my microphone all over the place. Hello. Welcome to the channel. <laughs> this is me, Inside A Gamer. I am your pilot for the day. Uh, Jesse, is there an MD80 in the back? There is an MD80 in the back. I don't know how realistic that is to Ulu Airport, which I know is. Uh... <laughs> Shame that the the chat is a little bit delayed. Waiting for you guys to catch up. <laughs> okay, so there, this is the flight we're going to be taking today. Let's go through our little flight instructions here, a little bit of a debrief. Uh, we're going to be cruising today at around, I believe it's 39,000 feet, which the altimeter should be there on the top of the screen. Uh, we're going to be flying from runway 30 here in Ulu in Finland. And uh, we will be taking, uh, we will be coming to St. Petersburg, uh, Pol Polokvo. Polokvo, good outfit. Hello. <laughs> The pilot out from suits. I couldn't grow my own moustache for you. That was the only problem. I tried. <laughs> I will. I will release my disguise in a little bit. Uh, you see me properly. I can't wear the hat with the earphones, so I can't hear nothing. Uh, okay, so we will be flying into uh, ULLI, uh, Saint Petersburg, in Russia, in uh, Polokovo, uh, and we should be taking the twenty-eight right, according to my uh, debrief here on Simbrief. So. <coughs> A moustache is very interesting. <laughs> Do you like it? I think it looks great. Okay, so shall we uh, get down into the plane and let's have a look and let's get this bird in the sky. Saying that, we put the bird in the sky and I've got rid of all my screens. That is not good. There we go. I can see your lovely chats now. <clears throat> okay, so let's uh, let's get into the cockpit of this uh, this lovely plane. I am going to take my hat off because I uh, I can't put my earphones on and I can't hear anything. So here we go, <clears throat> and I can barely see the screen with the shade and the sunglasses. <laughs> uh, it's all good fun. Okay, so can't see my hair. I'm receding a little bit here. Okay, so we are going to, let's uh, just sort all this kind of stuff out. Okay, let's go to the MCDU, and this is where we're going to start today. I'm also just going to bring up the TOLIS ISCS, because uh, we are going to need that while we sort out our flight plan for today. I've got no volume. There we go. Do we have volume of the plane? I've got the same headphones as you. <laughs> well, they're actually all right to be honest with you do we have do we have plane volumes for you guys now that's that's the main question here okay so all this is good we're gonna go to the init page 
and we are going to be flying from E F O U slash we're going into U L L I L L I we're gonna put that up here in the front and two apparently it's not in the database because there's a P in the way why is there a P E F O U yes you can hear oh yeah good we have volume yeah the game was on pause that's why there was no volume I was wondering why there was no volume in my ears as well um, okay so we're going to U L L I now it's been a while since I've done a proper flight plans and, and stuff like this um, so bear with me hopefully we, we're not gonna mess it up and hopefully we fly and we land okay our flight number today will be FNA 101 we'll throw that in there uh, cost index is Okay, our cruising altitude first. We're going to be cruising at 37 or 39. Just hang on, just going to my sim brief there very quickly. 39,000. Uh, so we're going to throw that in here. Uh, I'm not going to throw the temperature in. It is going to give us a minus 56 on the temperature, uh, which that is fine. Cost index of around... There we go. Go on to the next page. Oh, that is looking good. Okay, the, the game was uh, playing playing with me there. So this is all looking pretty damn good. Let's go into our flight plan. So here we go. Here's our plan. Um, do I need a passport or just death wish to take this flight? Uh, I think a death wish would do would do you just fine, if I'm honest with you. <laughs> okay, so from E F O U. Uh, we are going to be taking the UGMO4B departure. So we're going to go to our departures here. We're going to go from runway 30. And like I said, we are looking for the UMB40. Should be here now. See, the EGMO4B. That will be our SID out of the airport. We're going to put that into the flight plan. We're going to insert that. And we're going to sort out our destination, uh, our arrival. I said that we were going to be coming into runway uh, 2AR ILS. That is the plan today. Uh, 28 left. Next one. Where's our 28 right? Here we go. So 28 right. We're going to throw that into the flight plan. And we will be taking the, the star approach will be the AKA RIB. Uh, uh, one, not an I. There we go. So this will be our approach. Happy days. Let's throw that into the flight plan. And we'll insert that. Let's save that. Okay, back to the return. Uh, so what we're going to look now for is the rest of the plan. Obviously, from Ugmore to Akuru, we have a bit of an issue, obviously. Uh, so as we leave UGMOR, we will be taking a direct route to uh, Rattler at R A T L A Rattler. Okay, we'll put that as our next waypoint. Uh, we're going to insert that into our flight plan. Okay, we still have some discontinuities. Uh, that's fine. So we're now in Rattler. So from Rattler, we will be taking a airway. Uh, we will be taking the... What are we taking? The G70 airway today. Uh, the G70. And that will bring us off at AKARU. A K A R U. There we go. Okay, let's insert that into the flight plan. Okay, so what are we missing? Any discontinuities? I don't think so. I think we're all good here on the flight plan. Uh, the one thing I did forget to put in, actually, is our alternative route. We will be taking an alternative to Helsinki today, just in case. And that is EFHK. EFHK. And we are going to throw that in. There we go. Uh, just quickly have a look at the winds. Uh, we will do the cruising altitude winds once uh, we get up there, but there's our climb winds all put in place for us. Uh, X-plane is so great. Well, I, I hope so. Both would be required. <laughs> uh, man, this planning would kill me. I'll take off and fly wherever. Yeah, look, this is the hardest part of the game is the flight planning. I'll be very, very honest with you, uh, but we're getting there. Just remind me how to I open the bomb bay doors. <laughs> Hunter Roland, sorry I've got to go uh, have a good stream. No worries, Hunter. Thanks for uh, coming along. Thank you very much. Okay, so we will be looking at this now in a second. That's all good. Let's go back to our flight plan and we should now have our... I don't see any problems with this now. 
Okay, that looks pretty damn good. Just, uh, yep. Yeah. Uh, so are we going to check that? Well, we're going to put in all our weights and stuff as well, actually. Uh, so let's go into ground services. I just want to shut all the doors. We are ready to go. The plane is on. I'm not doing a cold start today. Um, I will do some of them in the future. Uh, but at the moment, uh, not today. There's enough going on in this stream. Uh, <laughs> I don't think uh, we want to see the cold dark start as well. Okay, so loading preferences. Let's go have a look here. Okay, our block fuel for today's flight, we are recommended by Simbrief at 6310. So what we'll do, we'll just give myself a little bit more because uh, in case, what we'll do, we'll give myself 65. Okay, that's fine. Uh, our weight should be today, our main weight should be at 63. Okay, so more passengers, lots more passengers. We are, ooh, we're going way over here. Okay, so hang on. Uh, oh no, five seven is our is our weight. Okay, we're five six. Okay, so I think we're pretty damn good. There you go. One hundred twenty odd passengers here today. Uh, everything else is looking pretty damn good. Yeah, my flight plan kills me. <laughs> yeah. Uh, yeah, we love the yeah I love the simulation. But look, this is the problem. This is this is the key here. Once you get this, okay. So we're going to quick refuel. We're going to apply these load settings. We should be pretty good for that. I uh, just want to check our flight pan. Uh, so what we're going to do, we are uh, just going to have a look here at this screen. I'm going to zoom in. Let's have a look, make sure our plan is working. Let's uh, flick this to flight plan. Let's uh, move this out a little bit. Okay. Uh, come in a bit more. There we go. So we're going to be leaving. We're going to be taking this route here. So what we do, we're just going to flick through the flight plan, make sure it all links up. And it's looking fairly decent. Coming in, we've got a nice approach into Russia. There we go. And we have our alternative to Helsinki if required. Hopefully, not required. Uh, Ollie, I want to get Explain 11, but my computer won't run it. Yeah, uh, it, it is one of those things. It, it, this one is a pretty uh, intensive game. Uh, but you'd be surprised. It would be fun to have this game, but I know a fireball in five minutes of flight. Uh, you, you get there. It takes a while. It takes a while. Now, the A319, I haven't flown this plane in such a long time. So, yeah, this is... Uh, uh, okay, we oh, got rid of my Mac Duke. Uh, we're going to just save this as two. And again, I've got rid of it. That's good. Okay, so flight plan looks all well and dandy. Let's save that. It won't let me save that. Okay, that's fine, whatever. Okay, everything seems to match up quite well here. So let's go into our performance. Our V1 today over sim brief is 1, 3, 5. There's a 2 there for some reason. 1, 3, 5. And now we've got the clear button in the way. 1, 3, 5. We're going to get there. That's our V1. Our VR of 1, 3, 7. And we got a V2 of no, uh, 1, 3, 9. Okay. Throw that in today's flight. Leaving from runway 30. Uh, we're going to be flaps 1 on this. Flex the temperature. Uh, we are going to put in 50. Okay. Engine accelerate out. Okay. Next phase. Okay. I think this is all okay. Yeah. Okay, so. Uh, we are going to put all that approach stuff. Once we are a cruising altitude, I wonder if you can see the airport. Well, we'll have a little look around outside in a minute. We'll have a look around outside. Okay, so we're going to put all this approach stuff in once we're up in the air later on. Okay, let's throw into our data. Okay, I need my loading page. Okay, let's copy that in. Let's look at our performance index that has disappeared. That's not very good, is it? 135, 137, and uh, 139. We're going to put in our 1. OK, 
Okay, flex. Okay, that's fine. Fine, fine. Okay, let's activate all of that. That is good. That is in. Things are looking okay. Uh, welcome back, Ollie. Hello. Welcome back. Uh, you haven't missed much. We're still just walking out, uh, working out this flight plan. I think it's all looking good now. Uh, my fuels, okay. Check off, check takeoff data. Yep, we need to look at the takeoff data. We need to do that now. All right, let's bring C. Okay, that, that's all kind of inputted for us. Okay, that's all good. Okay. All this is looking fairly good. Okay, the airport page, all that is looking good. Uh, doo -doo 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 -doo. Okay, I think that is all right. I think we're pretty much going to be good to take off. One page I am missing, and why I cannot find it, is my block fuel weights. Why are my fuel weights? Donation from Jesse. Keep up the amazing work. Thank you very much, Jesse. Much appreciated, of course. Uh, my tash is kind of making my nose itchy. Okay. So, already on the MACD, I've already forgotten where my block fuel weights are. I thought they were on the initial page. But. It is not loading up. Okay, this is interesting. Uh, Resils, block fuel weight, okay. Duh, 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 duh. That is all done. We're all good. I think we're pretty much good to go, I believe. Yeah, I really can't see the screen though. Okay, so let's, uh, let's go down here. I'm just going to sort this out up. 0 0.5. That is set. Let's set this all good. Okay, let's go back to our arc. And I think we're going to be pretty good to go for a pushback fairly soon. Uh, we should have uh, start our pushback. Ground to cockpit, please show me where you want to go. Ground to cockpit, tow is driving up. Let me know if the engine noises are a bit loud or not, if you want them turned up a little bit more, we can look at that. Okay, so... We can go for our better pushback now. Okay, they're coming in. Let's just quickly go up to the top here. Uh, we are going to be looking at, I'm going to have to take my sunglasses off because I cannot see a thing right now. There we go. Uh, <laughs> let's, let's get our lights to taxi here. That's good. We can throw the uh, wing lights on. Perfect, stroke and go on. Okay, everything else up here is looking good. Pressurization's good. Radios are looking good. Everything else is good. I'm happy with that. We're going to put our speed brakes set. Uh, we will do flaps once we start getting down the runway. We are going to load uh, max auto brake, which is on. Okay, all doors and hatches are closed, ready to connect. Engines are good. Okay, that's good. That's what I like to hear. <coughs> uh, yeah, I had to take my sunglasses off. I can't see the screen. It's too dark. <laughs> Uh, I don't want to destroy your name. I don't want to destroy your name. Um, accidentally press the button here. Oh, hang on. Output data graph came up. I accidentally hit. Um... Oh no! X plane eleven just crashed. Ah, uh, you wouldn't believe what just happened. It only have happened to us. Give me one second. We'll get X-Plane loaded back up very, very quickly. Uh, but while we're here, waiting. Okay, we have an error now. Oh, good. Uh, 
Okay, just one second, guys. One second. I won't change the screen. I won't put on another screen. We should be getting up there very, very soon. Uh, what, what actually happened was I put my coffee and knelt it on the keyboard and <laughs> pressed a load of buttons. Um, my own fault. Okay. Um, but Dave, I'm going to call you Dave Singh. Uh, will you be flying to Malaysia in this game? I will fly anywhere in the world that you want me to fly. You know, come join us on Discord or Twitter. Let me know where you'd like me to go and I will do that. Uh, no problem. Okay, explain 11 is just loading up again. We should be two seconds. Uh, that's just perfect timing. Look, it was my own fault. I do apologize. Uh, we, we will get sorted now. It is just coming back up. Take a few minutes. There we go. <coughs> so yeah, I do apologize. That was my own stupidity. I've actually moved my keyboard. There's not enough room on my desk. <laughs> and uh, I moved some things around. So anyways, uh, nice face, by the way. Hello, Alex. Do you like do you like my mustache I grew for you? I'm going to go resume last flight. I don't know would it have saved where we were at. I don't think so. We may have to throw that into the, uh, into the flight planet again very, very quickly. I do apologize. You kind of look my primary school teacher. <laughs> okay. <laughs> That's interesting. Okay, <laughs> we are back and up and running. Uh, do apologize, that was just absolutely stupid of myself. That's why I don't like live streaming, you know that, I really don't like live streaming. <laughs> kind of look like my primary school teacher, still like that. Do I look that old? Okay, I bet our flight plan is not set, nope. Ah. Okay, let's go through this very, very quickly. Okay, we're in, we're in, we're in. I think I actually have a preloaded plan. Uh, one of these was a test flight. It could be this one. Uh, no, not that one. EFOU, uh, that is going to... No, you can tell I was... No, I didn't save that flight either. What an idiot. Okay. Let's not load a flight. Let's start the flight again. Okay, so I do apologize. It's okay, you can call me Rishi or Dave, it's more easy. Okay, Rishi, Rishi's fine. I'll call you Rishi, yep. Uh, so we are going to go through this again very, very quickly. I do apologize, what an idiot I am. Um, but we wouldn't have had a stream without something going wrong because that's, that's, that's my streams all over, isn't it, really? Okay, so very quickly, I am just going to throw all this back in. I'm not going to talk about it too much. Uh, EF. O U into U L L I. There you go. Let's change the alternative route is E F H K. Uh, Alex, I'm sorry. I just got home from work. Thought it started at two. That's what YouTube said. No worries, Alex. You're here now, and uh, you haven't missed too much. I was wearing a hat and sunglasses. Okay. Uh, I, I believe YouTube's decided to buffer with my crash as well, which is great. Uh, so I will fly through this while you are buffering. Cost index of 50. We're in. Cruising at 39,000 feet. Lovely. Okay. Winds. Wind request. Let's go to our flight plans. Departure of runway 30 from Ulu, and we are taking the Umbungo 4. Oh, UGMO 4B, that's what we're taking. No transition, we'll throw it into the flight plan. Okay, we will now sort out our destination. Our arrival will be at airport ILS 28 right, 
and we are going to be taking the uh, the AKAR 1B that's what we are taking as our start into the flight plan insert yes off we go we can save that no we can't let's, let's save that okay so go through our discontinuities very very quickly so from Ugmore 4 we will be going direct to Rattler uh, a T L A Rappler. Uh, next waypoint. Okay, we'll insert that. Go the wrong way. From Rattler. Uh, so yeah. Uh, Dave or Rishi, um, let me know what kind of airports you want me to fly in and out of Malaysia. I'll be happy. And what kind of planes would you like me to fly? Okay, so from Rattler, we are going to be taking an airway of G70. All you guys wanted to do was watch some planes, eh? And we will be taking that into the AKU. RU. Okay, it's a mismatch. Why is that a mismatch? We're taking the G70 and we're going to AKA. Oh. AKA RU. Okay, we're done. We'll insert that. We go. That's good. Everything now is looking good. Should be no discontinuities. Nope. Okay, flight plan is done. We're going to set up our VORs, ILSs and stuff. Happy days, it's all done. Fuel required. Uh, 10 viewers, I want to see you land in Wellington again. <laughs> okay, that's fine. What kind of plane would you like me to fly? Maybe we'll do like a... Because I came from Sydney. Maybe Sydney to Wellington? Uh, that'd be pretty cool. I do apologize that we did crash out. Uh, we are... We are we, we're getting there. We're getting there. We'll, we'll be taking off in no time. Uh, it was my own fault. What can I do? What can I do? Okay, that is all good. Let's sort out our performance. Our V1 was 135, I believe. 138. No, it was 137. 137. And it was one. We'll just take 140 as our V2. That'd be fine. Our flaps will be at 1. Okay, that's fine. We can text, flex the temperature at 55. We're good. Apparently that's not allowed. Maybe it's 30. We'll go on to our next phase. Okay, everything else is looking alright there. Okay, we just need to go throw in our fuel weights and today's weights with TOLIS ISCS. And we need to shut the doors because when they're on auto, auto for some reason they sometimes open in midair. I, I don't know why. It's uh, just a little bit of a bug, I suppose. Uh, Kuala Lumpur International, Malaysian Airlines A380. You want me to fly the A380? I can see what I can do for you. I think it was about 120. Okay, our takeoff weight should be around 570. So, what are we at now? 562. Uh, we'll take a little bit more cargo. Take a few more passengers. There we go. We've got about 128 passengers today. Block fuel should be around 6.31. Uh, so, we're going to round it up. We're just going to give ourselves a little bit extra in case I have to do a go around or anything silly. Uh, there was none put on with Simbrief. Okay, so that loading should be done. Quick fuel, apply these load settings. We are good, and I think we're good to go. I just want to check the flight plan uh, with our screens here. Very, very, very quickly, just to make sure that I haven't messed it up. Let's go over to plan. There we go. And we're just going to... Ooh. Go the wrong way. There we go. Around. Rattler. Okay, Akuru. Down into ILS. Perfect. Helsinki is our backup. Okay, so uh, longitude, latitude, everything is looking good. As we leave, I uh, just want to check something. Uh, the initial flight when we get out to Umbonga Fort is 6 6, so I'm just going to throw that up there now. There we go, that is on. 
That is ready. We are ready for our pushback. Uh, you're going to crash at Defo. <laughs> I am definitely going to try and not crash anything. Um, uh, one, two, three, four, five. This is the best YouTuber if you haven't subbed to him. <laughs> Thank you, Ollie. Very kind. Love the detail on the cockpit. Yep. Yeah. I think we're good. We, we have a flight plan. Uh, everything is on. There was a format error there, but ah, we'll be fine. What's the worst that can happen? Okay. Activate. Yep. Yeah. Okay. Check takeoff data. This doesn't like me. Why don't you like me? Now I'm no means a professional pilot. Like I said I'm only getting back into X plane. I took a uh, took a break away from the game for a long, long time. So when you don't play often, that's wh that's where the problems come in. Ah, uh, can't remember what my flex temperature was supposed to be. You know. Who knows? Will you get Microsoft Flight Simulator 2020 when it is out? Yes, that's another reason why I've started playing this. I just want to kind of get back in the swing of things. Um, so yeah, we will definitely be doing that. Alex, you don't need to tell me you're going for a shower, but all right. <laughs> Crashing is the worst when that can happen. Okay, we're not going to crash. Hopefully, we're not going to crash. And Glenn, like I said, what what plane? You know, and and uh, Rishi. I said, best thing to do is go onto my Discord or my Twitter so I don't forget. That, that's half the problem, is remembering. Okay, so I think everything is good. My block fuel should be entered by that. Uh, it's like you want to break my heart. What, what, what are we going on here? Shift, manual, flex temperature. Okay, next phase, next phase, next phase. Okay, so for our go around if we need that, uh, 142, slats at 178, clean out at 197. Okay, perfect. Okay, we are good to go. We are very good to go. Let's now call our pushback again, and uh, we do have better pushback put on here. Let's start our pushback. Ground to cockpit, please show me where you want to go. Ground to cockpit, tow is driving up. Let's have a little look around the airport. Can we see Jesse's house? Jesse, where is your house? <laughs> there is no houses, there's trees. <laughs> there is not much going on here. Let's hope for no fireball. I hope so too. I'd be fairly disappointed. I think I'm getting a suntan from the light as well. <laughs> Turning my head. Okay, better pushback is here. Here he comes. Uh, Rishi, no problem. No problem at all. Thanks for stopping by. Okay, all doors and hatches are closed. Ready to connect. We are finally ready to connect. Is that what the airport actually looks like? Very small. So one, two, three, four, four gates. I'm on, oh no, it must be 16 gates. Look, I'm on 16 here. Okay. They are locked in, we are ready to roll. Just waiting for them to clear. Okay, while we're here, we're going to set our speed brakes. Uh, we're not going to do our flaps yet, we'll do our flaps just before we get out. Uh, we are going to set our... our Toe connected and brakes. white cast in and service. Release parking brakes. 
Okay, we've now been asked to release our parking brakes, that's what we're going to do. Starting push back. And we're going to go back to ARC. There we go. We are pushing back. This is exciting. 40 minutes to do the flight plan, geez. Ollie, it's not my fault. Okay, it's not my fault. I crashed the computer. <laughs> I do apologize. The more I fly, I do plan to fly more often. The more I fly, the more I, I, I will get used to this again. Been a big risk actually me doing this uh, because my, my flight skills, because I haven't flight in so long, uh, it's been pretty rough. So, oh, there we go. We'll give you a nice uh, wing view. What we do actually, we will lower our first notch of flaps while we're here. There we go. There we go, first flaps. Glenn Baxi, I know bugger all about planes, but they don't call it Windy Wellington for nothing. So you can decide. <laughs> the A30 and the B777. Okay, perfect. We'll do something from uh, we'll do something from Sydney. Sydney to Wellington, that'd be pretty good fun. Uh, so there we go, push back is nearly complete. We are saying goodbye to Finland and Ulu. The A330 does the smoothest landings ever. Uh, depends who's flying. That is for sure depends on who is flying. Looks like I've got no hair on the stream. <laughs> okay. Operation complete. Set parking brake. Okay. Set parking brake. Broken brake is set. Disconnecting tow. Stand by. Let's sort out our taxi lights. Taxi on the nose. Uh, we can turn the runway light. Strobe is on. Wing lights can go on. Okay, perfect, perfect, perfect. Everything else is looking good up here. We are now waiting for them to disappear, I believe. Okay, they're disconnecting. We're gonna wait for our hand signals. The A3080 Airbus. The A380, do you mean? They're fairly obsolete now, those A380s. That's the only thing about them. They are they are disappearing. Uh, okay, so, yeah. Flying into New Zealand, that'd be pretty cool. The scenery... Tow is disconnected. Our bypass then has been removed. Hand signal on the left. We'll see you next time and have a safe flight. Have a safe flight. That's what we like to hear. <laughs> this is where it all goes wrong. Oh, you must be. Oh, okay, yeah, so you're pretty late. What time are you now, Glenn? Okay, we're waiting for our hand signal. Oh, they're going to park in an awkward place. There he is. Look at that. We're good to go, guys. We're good to go. Everything is looking good. Runway 30. We're going to be taxiing just down here. We're not going too far on the taxi today. It's a very short taxi. We're going to take our parking brake off, and uh, we are rolling. Final word, safe flight. <laughs> Only like Emirates are using A380s efficiently. Yeah, look, the A380s, I don't think, um, I think a lot of people now have just decided it's not worth it, you know. I mean, maybe with the current climate as well, that's what's going on, who knows, who knows what's gonna happen with air flight, to be honest with you. Um, it's gonna be an interesting couple of weeks. 11th in the evening, Saturday, okay. Well, I'm glad you kind of hung around to see this. I'm glad you've been around for the last week or so as well. It's been pretty cool to see new faces. Okay, we're just going to take off the power here. Stop. Normally we would ask ATC for obviously clearance, uh, but I'm not using ATC today. But what we are going to do is going to put our landing lights on. We're going to take our taxi now off to take off. Turn them off. Okay, wing lights can go. Stay on actually. Okay, uh, everything else is looking good down here. Everything is set. Flight plan is set. We are set. We are good to go. Once we take the parking brake off, there we go. Once we get in the air. 
I'm, uh, I can take my moustache off. You guys can see me properly. <laughs> I use a joystick with the left hand like a true pilot. Uh, I'm using my right hand uh, because my desk is covered in paperwork, <laughs> flight charts, uh, everything. Uh, Glenn, I have only ever flown once. I did not like the life jacket or the lifeboat itself. And that's fine. Um, in my flights here in Finnair, you probably don't get life jackets or uh, or life rafts anyways. Okay, so last, just check. Everything is looking good with my right hand. Okay, no, I haven't set my trim. Ooh, that was nearly good. 0 0.5 up. Okay. Uh, everything else now should be set. Everything is good to go. Speed, headings. Okay, our first. Yes, okay. Everybody, let's, let's rock and roll. Flex 33, we're in. Okay, we are hitting V1 and rotate. Okay, positive climb. Gear up. see what I'm doing because I've got a clue. Okay, let's follow our flight director. We're hitting 180. Oh, they really want us to climb here, don't they? And flaps in. Okay, with flaps in, we are going to hit the autopilot button. There we go. Takeoff is a buttering a thing. <laughs> it's a bit bouncy actually, wouldn't it? To the takeoff. There you go, let's get a nice little engine view there as we're leaving Ulu in Finland. Jesse, we are going to see you later, unless you're on the plane. Uh, 10 people watching, yeah, hello. Hello to everyone that is watching this stream. Welcome to my face reveal. This is my face. Uh, you can see the planes take off, but from your house. <laughs> Not a bad takeoff. Look, we got up in the air, that's the main thing. We are up in the sky. I am just going to pull down to speed level climb. Master Corson, yeah, we're going to sort that out in a second. Okay, so we're going to be hitting nicely now at 250 knots. We've already hit our first level. Uh, just want to check our flight director when we are supposed to be going up because I didn't write it down. Uh, we can go up to 10,000 feet, so that is what we're going to do. We're going to throw that up to 10,000 feet. There we go. We carry on with our climb now. Uh, once we get to Rulox, we will be going up to 13,100. There we go, we are in the sky. Uh, you got it, a, a plane from a plan A only with a boat have a plan B. <laughs> uh, I'll be honest with you, I'm not a keen flyer myself. Uh, I'm, uh, I, I fly because, you know, you, 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 why not, you know, 
it's the only way to really get around, but if I had a choice, I'd take a boat any day of the week. Jesse, flying is great. I love the feeling just after takeoff. You know what? That's actually my favourite part of the flights are the takeoffs and landings. Uh, I must admit, I hate turbulence. Oh my god! I remember when I was going to Australia from uh, Kuala Lumpur to Sydney. I was on a uh, 737, and we were going over this um, uh, a very rocky kind of mountainous area. There was high turbulence, and Jesus, the plane was shaking. People were screaming. Uh, it's enough to put your flying for life, that is for sure. <laughs> there you go, we've got a nice little wing view here. Oh, we're making another turn. Hang on, we'll go back. It's not quite a clear day here in Finland. It's a bit overcast, a little bit of cloud in the air as we rise. Uh, <sighs> then I'm going to read your thing in two seconds. Okay, as we come up to Umbongo. On its own. Okay, we are now should be hitting our main flight level now of So peanuts, so we can can we pay the pilot? You know what they say about paying with peanuts, right? <laughs> no, in this flight we only we only serve uh, tea. It's too early in the morning. Uh, I hate turbulence, but I use crosswinds to help. Oh, crosswords. Yeah, I, I, I don't know. I just try and sleep on planes. That, that's the main. Uh, that's the main story there. I'll tell you an interesting story though. When I was going to Australia, that's probably the longest flight I've ever been on. And um, it, it, it was basically 24 hours. 12 hours Kuala Lumpur, 12 hours then um, from there to Sydney. And I left my parents. I said, okay, I'm going. They didn't believe me I was going, but I'm going. And uh, I thought, okay, I was leaving Sunday night at 11 p.m. in the UK time. I was arriving like two days later or two days after, I can't remember. I was arriving at 7 a.m. in Sydney, and I said, "How will I, how will I, you know, be there refreshed and be able to ground?" So what I decided to do, with my smart brains and myself, I thought if I get extremely drunk on the first flight, the second flight I'd sleep the whole way in 12 hours, I'd wake up in Sydney, and I would be ready for the day. That was my plan. So I get on the plane. There was absolutely nobody. I was on an A380, and that was the time when the A380 fell out of the sky. Then the Qantas plane, the engines blew and it dropped, and People were a bit worried, and uh, that's what I was flying on. And uh, <laughs> so I had nearly this whole area to myself. And uh, the lady comes over. She's literally sitting next to me, and she's just giving me whatever I wanted. They feed you like ten times. It's ridiculous. And she was just feeding me more and more vodka. I got so drunk in the first hour, I passed out. Uh, I woke up in Kuala Lumpur, and Jesus, the humidity was killing me. I, I wasn't feeling great. And then I got on my second plane. Thinking, okay, well, hopefully it's not going to be too bad. I'll try and sleep. The next plane was packed to the gills, and I didn't get a window seat. I had a middle seat, which I don't know what happened. I thought I booked a window seat, and I had two people next to me. And oh my god, I couldn't sleep. I couldn't do anything. They were eating like pigs. And uh, I got to Sydney, and I've never been so wrecked in my life. And that is a true story. Um, Jack, you haven't been on the plane in years. Yep, yeah, well, you're on my plane here. Well, we're with Finnair today. Here we go. Well, actually, now that we've climbed above 10,000 feet, let me warn me, we need to turn off our landing lights, um, turn off our wing lights now. We've got a beacon, our strobe, and uh, 
we set off to no, so everything is good. Uh, we can also now turn off the uh, seatbelt sign can now go off. There we go. Uh, we can now retract our speed brakes, they're good to go. too loud. Ooh. We can't have that. I will sort you out now of the game. Sorry. Hopefully we do not crash. There you go. Is that better? Why did no one say anything about the speed before? The speed, the, uh, the sounds. Is that better? Someone needs to tell me if that is better. If I were you, I wouldn't turn off the seatbelt signs. <laughs> Well, you know, if we do end up having to crash, you know, it might be quicker for you. I want Monster Munch. <laughs> the noises are fine. Well, I turned them down because someone said they're too loud compared to me. Uh, but there we go. We will throw it back on. I don't know, did someone just subscribe there? If you did, thank you very much. I uh, didn't get the notification up here on my screen for some reason, but I did hear the little dingling. So, whoever that is, thank you very much. Alex, way better. Okay, Alex. Did you hear my story about my planes? Did, did you enjoy my story? <laughs> okay. Maybe when we're on the outside. The outside is a lot louder than the inside. We are thundering through here. Okay, so that's a lot better. That's good. I'm, I'm glad it's a lot better. Today, my beverages is uh, Coca-Cola. Hopefully, I don't get demonetized for, sh for branding. And I have to get a straw because of my tash. <coughs> makes me want to play... Uh, makes me want to play Euro Truck. Yes, we all love Euro Truck here as well. Okay, so we're heading off. We're nowhere near a cruising altitude just yet. Speeds are looking good. Everything's looking good. Engines are looking good. Flexing to 88.9, which is lovely. Everything is looking fairly nice and dandy here, guys, if I must say so myself. Now, we are above 5,000. I should have changed my barometer to standard. Uh, we have done that now. There's a few things. I was too busy talking to you guys and worrying about the flight. Okay, let's uh, throw you back to your lovely view here. You kind of heard something. I got drunk. Well, yeah, that, that's basically the morals of the, most of the stories, to be fair. I was telling you about... Did anyone hear my story about the flight or the end, or the noise is too loud? Or Alex, is it just, is it just you? So it's taken us one hour to get tint in the sky, um, but I think we've done all right. The game crashed, it was my fault. Now we just have to ace the landing. Okay, the other thing I probably haven't turned off are the auto brakes, now they've all gone off nicely. Terrain indicator is on, it's not on on my side. Uh, Yeah, we're all good. I did, but it was loud. As in, I was loud or the engines were loud. I, I do apologize. It's the first time I've streamed this, so... We, we will get there. It will get better, I promise. Hopefully. Hopefully it will get better anyways. Eventually. So the next one I think we'll do, Glenn, I think we will do the, the Sydney to Wellington. I think that's the next one I'm going to do. I think that'd be pretty fun. Okay, uh, we are still not quite at cruising altitude. What are we at? 29,000 feet or so. Okay, that's not too bad. We're just above the cloud line here. Damn, I can't wait to make memes with this template. <laughs> Thanks. <laughs> Would you like me to take my tash off now? 
Uh, do we quite like my Tash? Oh look, a Nightbot has come to join us today and uh, he's working correctly compared to the baking simulator. Don't know what the hell is going on with that, but there we go. Ollie, it's not about likes and views. It's all about the fun. That's all it is. That's all this is. Bit of fun. People are happy to watch and like it. Fair play to you two as well. Tash off now. <laughs> okay, I'll take my tash off. There you go. Ah. Tash. Ah. That, that, that was not very nice. I actually had lots of mustaches to pick from. It makes it all. <laughs> uh, it's kind of nice to have it off for five minutes, to be honest with you. And what do we think about my, my outfit? Is this an outfit you would like me to wear every time I, I stream planes? Is this, is this something that we would like? I could put the glasses back on now, though, can I? Help me from the blinding light that we have here. I feel like um, Tom Cruise a little bit. moment you need paper it all has that line <laughs> I think we're pretty much there now at cruising altitudes we are soaring through the sky this lovely thin air livery here look Let's hope the pilot calculated enough, uh, enough fuel. <laughs> uh, wear the outfit sometimes, maybe don't. Oh, okay, cool. We're almost a quarter of the way through already. Well, we are cruising at a pretty high altitude, and I think we do have tailwinds, I believe. Uh, so, we might actually get down there pretty quickly. The flight time today should have been about an hour... I think it was an hour and five minutes in the sky, so it's not too far actually to get to St. Petersburg, believe it or not. Uh, we will be taking our descent. Where's our top of descent? Where are we at now? Uh, we're going the wrong way, that doesn't help. Yeah, let's go over our performance page here. Next phase. Activate approach phase. Okay, next phase. Cruising, destination, approach. Okay, our approaches will be... Uh, performance two-phase check landing speeds. Okay, so... Uh, temperature, I think, is 15 degrees on the floor in Russia uh, the winds Q&H uh, 2-0 what was it? 1-0-1-3 there we go uh, we're going to be doing a config 3 uh, landing uh, which I think is fine for us today Okay. 
Sometimes ready up. Okay, we're the, oh, okay. Yeah, we're almost a quarter of a way still. Yep. Uh, and pretty good, really, considering uh, <laughs> I balls it up. Everyone's gone very, very quiet all of a sudden. It's either that my chat has frozen, one or the other. There's some cool views on the ground. Yeah, there is. It's lo looking beautiful down there, isn't it? Like I said, I was very surprised how flat Finland is. I, I thought there was more mountains and stuff, especially as I left. It was very, very flat. I, I always kind of expect the kind of north kind of area there, like, you know, Sweden, Denmark and all that to be very... Well, actually, not Denmark. I do know that Denmark is the flattest country in the planet, I believe. I believe that is a true quote there. <laughs> but just quiet. Ah, come on, guys. Don't be too quiet. We're just discussing dinner. What is for dinner? It's very early to be talking about dinner. What time? So I suppose it's 20 to 1. Uh, imagine if we get this far and we, we completely trashed the landing. Man, I'd be upset. Fly in Romania, when is that? Uh, well, I did do a video on FSX, but I've decided that I reloaded X-Plane 11 because the graphics are better and stuff. Um, what is a Romanian aircraft? Like, what is your main company? Do you have one in Romania? What's that? What, what is it? Let's see if I can find a livery for it. Dinner is the best meal of the day. I'm having corn, scotch eggs, and cheese toasty. I, Oli, are you a vegetarian? A corn scotched egg. I don't think I've ever heard of a corn scotched egg. I don't think there's anything such as vegetarians here in Ireland either. I mean, if you don't eat meat, you're pretty screwed. Hands down. <laughs> Depends what dinner is. Depends if it's a hands down best meal of the day. That, that's what you have to remember. Depends what it is. What is he going to come up with? We've got a potato waffles and pork steaks. And I can't stand corn. Never like the taste. Well, corn's just made up of... Mushrooms, isn't it? It's like a... I don't know. I could be wrong. That might sound as stupid. Okay, you're not a vegetarian. It's okay if you are. There's nothing wrong with vegetarianism. But that'd be probably what we're going to write on next in these countries. Some of the stuff I read yesterday in the UK is absolutely crazy. People want the statue of Winston Churchill pulled down? What is wrong with people? The White Cliffs of Dover is now being protested to change name. What the hell is going on in this world? I think if aliens are real, aliens will look over us and say, Jesus, screw them. They're messed up. <laughs> it's not worth it. Uh, Alex, you have blue air. Oh, okay. Never heard of blue air. I'm going to have to do some research to see if I can find a livery for them. What would be a second kind of uh, air type for you guys if it's not uh, blue air? What else is very popular over there? Ollie, also I call it lunch, not dinner. I'd call evening to meet. Oh, tea. Oli, uh, are you a bit of a... Um, are you from the north? T? T, that's very Manchester-y kind of northern Lancashire kind of way, isn't it? My dad would call it T. And actually, if my mum is watching, happy birthday, mum. If you are watching. I haven't forgotten. Blue Air does fly the B737. Okay, 3737. Okay, I'm writing this down, by the way. I've actually wrote all of them down. I wrote down uh, Wellington and everything else as well, so I don't forget. I need more paper.
There you go, Romania. I say tea as well and never say use lunch. I don't know what I say. I suppose I say dinner. No, I'm in the middle of the country near the east coast. Oh, so like Norfolk kind of way. Is that the middle of the country? That could be terribly wrong. <laughs> Glenn. <laughs> Please don't make fun of vegetarians. I like sheep and they are vegetarians and they taste great. <laughs> God's sake. <laughs> ah. Where have you been, Glenn? Where have you been? <laughs> That is the answer I'm gonna I'm gonna give next time someone uh, talks about vegetarianism with me. We need a long haul flight. Oh, okay, a long haul. But where would we gonna fly from? London to New York? Is that would that be a lo long haul? Just want to go into the flight deck here. Just want to have a quick little look where we are. Being a little bit nosy. Okay, let's go to my plan there quickly. I just want to see where we are. We are now going over Rattler. Where is that on my flight plan? Okay, so we are now about to hit the airway. Lovely, lovely, jubbly. Okay, once we hit Rattler, we will be dropping our altitude to 2,000, I believe. <laughs> Could be wrong. Hang on, let me just double check. Uh, do, 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 do. Where we are? There's Rattler. Okay, so we're going to, when we hit ETUKU, we will be dropping, and uh, we're going to be dropping pretty fast at that point then. Okay, so we are. We need to be dropping to around 13,000. So we're going to throw that in ready to go. 13,000, flight level 13,000. Okay, we are going to be doing that. That is in. Okay, we're not going to press any buttons here yet. Uh, we won't drop any altitude. It won't do anything until I click on the one dot. Uh, so we're pretty, pretty good here. Uh, we've got a bit of time. Uh, so, what kind of view would you guys like? Do you like the outside views? Very cloudy up here. It's a bit noisy there for me while I'm reading. Uh, I was asked to go to a vegetarian dinner once for some reason. I was never invited back. <laughs> Uh, God, that's funny. Uh, maybe with Norwegian B, I'm writing that down, B787 or Virgin. Okay, I have to see what skins I can find on the uh, xplane.org. B787, I'll have to look for the plane as well. London Heathrow to New York. Yeah, uh, maybe if, would, would you like a long haul flight though? Because that's going to take a long time. And uh, I'll have to try and find ways to entertain you for the whole time. Uh, Glenn, keep coming with the funny talk. <laughs> Inside a plane is better. Uh, yeah, see, look, Alex, that's the one reason why I like FSX. It's because I have my own skins for the channel. Uh, I can skin them planes. I can't skin these. I don't know how to. Uh, and I can't find anyone that will skin these for me. So if anyone is watching that knows how to skin these planes, uh, feel free to uh, drop me an email. My email is on my main page there, uh, insider.a.gamer7 at gmail.com. And if someone wants to uh, help me skin some planes, that'd be great. Isn't there a flyby view? Uh, I've got my view set to what I wanted. Um, I've messed with all the settings, so like I, I've picked mine on my keypad buttons here. I can change to a flyby, but uh, I kind of have what I have. Okay, I'd say we're about halfway through the flight now, according to our flight director on the top of the screen there. I can't see that, but I'm watching a screen that does show me that. So we're about halfway now. That's lovely. We are cruising through this. 
Now it'll be the descent. The descent's going to be pretty harsh and fast. Uh, we will be doing a Ryanair kind of descent. We are literally going to drop from 39,000 to 2,500 in a matter of minutes. <laughs> that is the plan. That would be the plan. So Alex, are you going to unsubscribe for me now that you've seen my face? That is a very important question that I have to ask you. Yeah, it's going to be quite the flight. Oh, quite quick this flight. Yeah, this flight is going to be fairly quick. I didn't want it to be too long. Um, to be fair, I didn't expect to then balls it up and waste 40 minutes setting up the flight. So, yeah, you know, these things happen. And uh, now that you see my face, what do you all think? Does the, does the voice in the face fit? Because there, there was a lot of discussion this week about what was I going to look like. Okay, so we are approaching Rattler. Uh, we're okay. We will start our descent at Rattler. We'll hopefully get down, and then we've got a nice curve round into. Uh, where are we going? I need to get my uh, flight charts ready. Uh, U L L I, St. Petersburg, Russia, Blukvo. Could be saying it wrong. We're going to be flying into 28 right. Uh, hopefully, we're going to come off at runway at B4, would be the plan. Might be a bit short. Uh, and we're going to come up to the main apron and the main terminal itself. That would be the plan. Yeah, the voice fits. The voice and face fits with my opinion. <laughs> Already unsubscribed. <laughs> no worries, Alex. It's nice knowing you. I was going to do some giveaways on this, but uh, with the temperamental that when I switched the screens the last time and I, well, I hit the keyboard too, but it crashed. I don't want to risk crashing this. Uh, so we'll, I plan to do something tomorrow, so we'll do some, some stuff then. It does fly. <laughs> That's good. Or maybe we could do one riddle. Did anyone work out my Discord, uh, what I gave you? There was a code up there. It's quite a good game, actually. Did, did anyone work it out? The A319 is really is nice plane. It is. It, this is my favorite plane. Now, some people do prefer the, a, uh, the A320 or the 330. Um, but I actually think the A319 is one of the best. Now, it's not the nicest to land. It can be very rattly um, and it can be a bit rough. But this is one of my favorite planes, no doubt about it. It was way too hard. Okay, so the number that you're missing is three. So you've only got to go through every letter of the alphabet now. The letter that... Uh, oh, no, you gave you the letter. So the number on the first load... So you need to put them in cat's lock because I lowercase them. The first four numbers or the first four letters uh, is a number is three so you have to go through the whole alphabet now to work out what the missing one is there we go off you go but don't leave the stream i'll be mad uh, alex doesn't matter i thought you left <laughs> uh to be fair i probably didn't word it very well i'm not very good with words myself when it comes to typing plus uh with this old phone that i'm currently still using uh yeah it's pretty pretty brutal it changes everything i, I put so i do apologize but all you're missing is a letter so on the second so there's three rows of numbers i, I took out one Number uh, one number on the first block. That number is three. Uh, so you're just missing a letter. Couldn't work it out myself. Yeah. Well, now you only have to go through every letter of the alphabet till you find it. So you, that's all you're missing. So the letters need to be in caps lock because I put them in lowercase. Uh, you can't copy and paste because I left the gaps too big. 
Uh, so you'll have to type it out by hand. The first block that was missing is the number three. And you need to... Uh, someone will have to find out the rest. Okay, we are approaching Rattler. We're not too far away now. How are we looking on the flight plan? Lovely, lovely, jubbly. Mapping is still looking fairly good. I like the way my viewers are just dropping like flies. Are you all obviously rushing? Oh, Jack. Hello, Jack. Uh, you just watched Keep the Peace. Uh, it's a good little game. It's going to be good in the future. Like I said, uh, it's a bit jumpy on the on the, on the the screen still. Um, but I think, given another six months, I've seen the, the map updates. I think another six months, that game is going to be pretty, pretty damn good. There is a new map that was meant to be out this week, uh, but the dev has delayed that because of uh, uh, coronavirus and all the rest of it. So, yeah, that's going to be a good game soon, I promise. How far, how far from the airport are you? Well, there is a thing on the top of the screen. Can you see the bar going across? So I'd say we're pretty close now. I can't see what that bar says, um, but yeah, we are. We're getting pretty close. We are going to be making our descent now very soon. Uh, literally, I am going to be putting us into descent now. Does the middle bit equal a word? Yep. I like it so far. Uh, yeah, Jack, it is going to be good. Uh, I have a good, good feeling about the game. And like I said, there should be a new map uh, this next week or two. And we'll give that a go. And there should be more updates and stuff. But it will be a good game. I was just trying to run out of attempts on Steam. So I will go back to it soon. <laughs> oh, yeah, I forgot you can only have so many attempts. <laughs> oh, that's brilliant. Okay. Um, Ollie, does the middle bit equal a word? No, no, so basically if you look at I can't I can't actually see it. I have to get it up my phone um, So if you look at it Hang on. I need to put us into descent. Let me go us into descent and then I, I will do that So what we're going to do here now. I am going to flick Our plane into descent mode now we're going to be going down to 13,000 feet now The one thing I will be doing here now is I'm just gonna add a touch the speed brake just a quarter uh, because we are going to be dropping fairly quickly and uh, I will throw you back to a lovely view there we go you can see our lovely speed brakes out there uh, okay so let me read it to you I don't know why it's not coming up uh jesus where did i put it here it is <laughs> okay so the key would be wcjb number three dash t i i w that is a letter dash e e two nine r so you have to go through every letter of the alphabet but one of them letters will release that key And we're back to 10 viewers because everyone's got locked out of their Steam accounts. <laughs> uh... 
Okay, so we are dropping out of the sky as we speak. Uh, master caution, and the more master caution is going to be speed brake. Yes, uh, we are. It's the speed brake is on, I believe. Uh, speed brake still out. Yes, but I'm using it because I'm just keeping our speed low. That, that's all. But we can retract it to take off the master caution. There we go. Plane is controlling everything for us. Lovely. So we are making our descent of thirteen thousand feet. Uh, we should be making that by enter destination data. What did we not put in? Two eight taking that star. Yes, we have. Uh oh. What doesn't it like about our destination? I don't know. We should be coming in nicely, I think. Wasn't that the case? Go back to flight plan in case I've uh, messed something up there a little bit. Let's reduce that. So after Rattler. Yeah, everything is looking. Everything is looking good. I don't see any issues there with our flight plan. Okay, let's ignore whatever the plane is telling us to do. And yeah. Yeah, locked out of activation right now. <laughs> uh oh. Rest in peace, I cannot because my PC is retarded. Ah, look, I'm sure it's not that bad. We are coming out of the sky, lovely. We are dropping that speed. As we make our approach. Okay, let's have a little look at my charts for our stars. Okay, so we're going to be coming in from Arnat, joining at Maydid. By the time we get to Maydid, we need to be at 2,500 feet. Okay, so we, we will have to drop again. Uh, question, did Farley leave and join back? I remember that username joining your server. I don't have a clue. I don't know. Maybe. Uh, the name rings a bell. Maybe, maybe he left and maybe he came back. I don't know. There's quite a strong possibility. I just haven't looked there. I, I, I can't see. I can't see. <laughs> don't remember him leaving, but I remember him joining before. Maybe it's a bot. Yeah, he did. <laughs> it's probably someone just uh, <laughs> trolling me. And the destination landing is all good. I thought there was a problem. Yeah, there was a little bit of a problem. It, there came something up on my flight plan here saying there was an issue, but I can't see the issue. Um, for some reason, it's just not in green. But it's all done. Uh, it could be that I have done the performance for the approach. Oh, no, I haven't. I've missed... Okay, that was 1013. I believe we need this to be put in ground temperature of 15 degrees today uh, I don't know what the winds are I didn't get to find out so we're gonna leave that Okay, uh, I think we should be alright for all of that stuff. Well, the worst thing that's going to happen is we're not going to land the plane and we're going to crash out, so let's not worry about that too much. Uh, hopefully that is not going to be the case. Okay, I am going to now drop our, us down to 2,000. Hang on. Five hundred. That is where we need to be thinking about dropping down to now. 
There we go. I wish Finnair did something a little bit more, you know, they could have put a flag or something on the front. Could have made it a little bit better. <laughs> Do you not think? Fardo NZ2020. Okay, Fardo, is that you then, Glenn? At least we know who it is. Okay, so we are still dropping from the sky at a nice rate of speed. Everything is looking good. Engines are going down to idle, which is what we want. And uh, we need to put that back up to our arc. And we need to... There we go. We are descending through the clouds. Delivery is a bit off. Yeah, they just I know you I know your flag is obviously blue and white You'd think just a little bit of something could just it Just make it a little bit better. Like I said if you just put like the finished flag over the front here or, or something or some sort of blue on the engines, maybe I decided against champagne. When I get to 5,000 subscribers, I'll pop champagne. There are some special... Okay, there are some... I can't say whatever that word is. Mary Meko. A flag would complete it, but still not bad. Yeah, just missing something. Just a little bit of something. Uh, it ha Air New Zealand has some great paint jobs. You actually do. I've seen that you, you, you I've got that, I've got some for the uh, the A320, I believe. Uh, I'll have to double check that, but I'm, I'm fairly certain I do. Okay, how are we looking? We're still at 18,000 feet, uh, but we are dropping as we speak. Actually, I'm going to raise that up to 6,000 because that was the next destination. I believe yeah we're okay like that for a minute we are coming over Russia now we're gonna be landing somewhere down here I believe Opinion about Marvel series and for the vegetarians you have an impossible burger <laughs> Well, I see that um, is it Burger King they have that new vegetarian Whopper that's supposed to taste just like a Whopper I haven't tried it, but uh, Opinion about the Marvel series. I'm not into it. I'll be honest with you. I, I, I like a bit of Iron Man and bits and pieces um, I'm not the biggest fan. My brother's a huge fan me not really just never really watched it. Never really got into it. Maybe if I watched them, I'd be into it, but I've just not really bothered. Marvel C is awesome, and it's far better than the DC. Uh, I'm listening, watching this while editing. It's going to be the best editing session I've done in a few months. <laughs> well, when we, we crash and burn. Uh, Marvel always will be king. Uh, yeah, I probably agree with you. Marvel is better than DC, in my opinion. Uh, veggie burgers are nice, but I prefer meat. Yeah, but it's, it's, their, it's their new um, meaty burger thing, isn't it? It's supposed to feel like beef, taste like beef, look like beef. 
Uh, do you like the new PS5 Wi-Fi router and Xbox fridge? No, I did see kind of a few people posting about them. <laughs> the Whopper veggie one, like the few YouTube videos, but I, I'll stick with the meat version. I, I want to try the veggie one just out of curiosity more than anything. Uh, I can't wait to play my fridge. <laughs> Are you going for Xbox? Oh, okay. Uh, there's a big, big debate on this at the moment. Uh, I found an alternative livery that would be so much better. Okay. Yeah, I saw the new PS5 design. Yeah, someone, someone was saying that they already had one in the house. It was their like air conditioning unit or something. <laughs> okay, just get back to the flight deck because uh, I need to keep an eye on where we are on this flight plan. Make sure we are dropping. We're at thirteen thousand feet, so we are going to start changing some bits and pieces around now. We are going to get ready for our landing. Hopefully, fingers crossed. We will see. Just going to reduce us down to around 4,000. Uh, we still have a lot to go. We're at 12.4 now at the flight level. We are still slowly dropping. The airport is somewhere down to the right, I believe. That should be us coming in there. <coughs> uh, let's keep dropping it down to the 2,500. There we go. Lovely jubbly. And I will start thinking about all the procedures in a minute. Okay, uh, where are we at? I don't like the PS5. I prefer the PS4. Design-wise, yeah, look, I, I think it could have been better. And why is it white? It kind of reminds me of the PS1. Maybe that's kind of where they're going with that. Yeah, I wasn't much of a fan either. The Xbox isn't much better. Yeah, the designing... Uh, still a PS fan for life. <laughs> so I've always been an Xbox fan, but my brother is the PS fan. And it's kind of killed us because we love playing FIFA, but we never have the same consoles so we can never play each other. <laughs> and we live in completely different countries. Uh, so you, maybe this year we're going to fall onto some sort of line of, I think that maybe we're going to both get PS, maybe. Uh, yeah, me too. I love the PS5, but the design needs another look. Yeah, I don't think that's going to happen now. I think I think it's done. It will look a bit odd, I must admit. Can't beat the PC. Don't you know? Cannot beat a lovely PC. Okay, let's just take a little nose outside. Uh, we are landing somewhere down here. I believe the airport is around here somewhere. Oh, there it is. Is it? No. Either way, it's somewhere down near the water. I know that. So we, that's where we are going into. Uh, we are still dropping nicely. And we're just about to drop below 10,000 feet, which also means uh, we need to put our landing lights on and let's get our nose light on uh, we definitely need to put this seatbelt sign back on uh, everything else is looking good everything's looking good up there anyways down below uh, we can arm our speed brake we may as well uh, I don't know I think we're good down here for the minute Hopefully our ILS is going to fall into place nicely. Uh, okay, so Impossible Burger is meat. It's just grown without an animal. <laughs> oh, sorry, it's an Impossible Burger. <laughs> Animals eat 9 kg of 1 kg meat, so it's more efficient to grow meat without the animal. I still think I like the old-fashioned way. <laughs> Maybe it's better. Uh, yeah, Glenn, I uh, completely agree with you. I like what they do in uh, in Japan. You know, they, they, they give Asahi to all the, the cows and massage them all day. So they give you the, the, the proper Kobe beef, isn't it? By the way, will it have backwards capability for PS4 games? I believe that the PlayStation... No, the Xbox will. The Xbox is definitely having backwards capabilities, I believe. Uh didn't read anything. No, I don't think the PS4 are doing that. Uh, the PS5. I know the Xbox are going to let you play Xbox One games. I know that. 
Okay, so we're still dropping. Uh, we're going to be making some lovely little turns here. Uh, once we go under 5,000 feet, we are dropping pretty steadily now. Might just leave that up just a little bit. I thought I thought that was the difference between the PlayStation and the Xbox this year. I thought that it was going to not have. I thought the PlayStation was not going to have the backwards play capabilities, but the Xbox was. Maybe I'm wrong. Cabin crew, prepare for landing, eh? Let me check online. Okay, we will be taking over our speed fairly shortly. It says it should be compatible with most popular games on PS4. Most popular games. Oh god. <laughs> that could be anything. Okay, so the plane is now descending again. I'd say we're going down to its 2,500. Okay, lovely jubbly. A couple more minutes and we will sort out our landing stuff. Okay, I'm just having a look at the livery. Uh... Oh wow, Jesse, that A350 looks a lot better. See, that's what they need. They just needed a little bit of something. Is that is that in the game? That livery, I wonder. That I have to find out because that is uh, pretty damn good if that is the case. Uh, and PS5 will have the same possibility of controllers of PS1, 2, 3, 4 will be compatible. Okay, fair enough. <coughs> like I said, we won't get into the argument on what's better and what's not because, uh, who knows. Uh, Glenn, the difference between PlayStation and Xbox is geometry and alphabet, but they both have X. <laughs> You're a funny guy, Glenn. <laughs> uh, that's good. Okay, so we are coming down to 6,000 feet. Okay, what we're going to do, we're going to auto brake at medium. Speed brake fan is on. Okay, so what else do we need to do here in the cockpit? I think we're good. Everything else is looking good. Okay, so we will take control of our speed fairly shortly. We're going to wait till we start going around the next bend. Uh, once we start dropping again.
Who else thinks that the touchpad from the PS joysticks are useless? Bad strike. <laughs> Don't say that. <laughs> Uh, was that a bird strike? I don't know what just happened. Something something flicked. Um, I don't think it was a bird strike. <laughs> I think we're okay. Engines are still stabilized. Everything is okay. So I, I don't know what we kind of hit. We hit something. Oh, well, that one. Yeah, that that is a... That one. Yeah. I like it. <laughs> it's a parrot. Okay, so we do need to start dropping. It's stuck in the left engine. <laughs> uh, it will be in a minute. Okay, maybe this is where my descent path was having a bit of a problem here. Flight level, oh no, 6,000, 2,100. Okay, so we, we're all good. We're all good. It's it's clicking through the gears here. We're clicking through the gears. It's a Sun Knorr. It's not Han Reared. Think I'm a Bob. Uh, <laughs> he wanted to be involved in, in in this. I said no, not today. Okay, so we are coming in now with our final approaches. Everything is still looking good. I hope this one goes better than the Ryanair one. Jesse, why have you just done this to me? Why? What, what the hell is that about? I thought we were friends. Okay, so we are dropping again now to our next flight level. As we make our final approaches, the plane is now slowing down more and more. I am going to take over the speed of the plane. Okay, so we will look at our first stage of flaps.
I travelled for about uh, <coughs> about six years around New Zealand during the Rugby World Cup and after with a cock with a cockatiel. <laughs> I've already shaved six minutes off this. It's so quiet. Flying is too complicated. Yeah, I'm just kind of getting ready for the approaches and stuff. I am focusing. Um, I, I should be a lot lower by now. For some reason, this is not lining up. Okay, let's get serious here. So my less frequency is not not quite locking on here for some reason speed is dropping though so next stage of flaps the focus on the face is real yeah look <coughs> it is uh it's pretty pretty intense there's the runway just over there on the right hand side uh, my ILS uh, why are you not Okay, this might have to be a uh, bit more of a manual landing because my ILS is not locked in and that's obviously what I was missing here for some reason. Uh, GPS, monitor, IRS, yes, yes, yes. Can I fix you quickly? That's what I want to know. Uh, fuel burned. Ah, look, let's not worry about it. Let's fly the plane. Let's do a manual landing. The ILS is not happening and I am pretty damn high. Okay, so look, we're going to take the bird in ourselves. Hopefully. And uh, we are also going to go for... Jesse, this is when it's all going to go wrong. didn't connect through my FMC but it's not a problem uh, we are going to do this here we go always the end uh, VIR yeah we, that's what we're doing okay but the bread <laughs> we're way too high all good all good not panic yet Full flaps. It's one of your Kerbal moments. Don't say that. I've just spent all this time. Oh, it's getting windy. Oh. Windy in Russia. Reverse first. And we did it. <laughs> okay, so we're just going to exit the runway.
accidentally pressed the uh, parking brake. It went well apart from now coming off the runway. Okay, we are going to exit here. Hopefully this is the exit I wanted to come off. That went well. We can go back and watch the repair of that landing, considering it messed me up. <laughs> uh, okay, let's get around here. There we go. We are just going to sort out our lights, but we have made it. Okay, so landing lights can go off. That's on. That to taxi. There we go. Good, 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 good. And uh, yeah, I think we're looking good there. Nice landing. It was kind of hoping for a fireball. Do you want to see the, the, the replay of that very quickly? Uh, how do we get the replay again? Let's have a little look, considering it was a, it was a bit of a mess. <coughs> I was a bit high, my ILS didn't work, but look, we, we fought on the backbone, it was a nice VOR landing. Uh, <laughs> and we did it. It got a bit windy. It was catching the plane off a little bit, look. I think Ryanair could have done it any better. Okay, so we are here now. So them lights are all set, all good and done. We are going to go over uh, to the gate. Okay, we're just going to release them. We're going to retract all our flaps. I want my money back. <laughs> Maybe a little too flare, but otherwise good. Ah, we don't need much flare. Ryan, Ryanair landing, thin air. It's their own special breed. Okay, so let's. Uh, I just need to bring up my Navigraph and uh, I need to just go see my airport chart and see where we are parking today because uh, I forgot to print it off separately. Okay, here we go. Uh, taxi, airport. Okay, so we are literally parking dead in front of us. That's what we are doing. Happy days. So I can't see your chats. Uh, you can't see your chats for two seconds there, as uh, I'm looking at the Navigraph. Uh, I'm looking at the terminal layout. We are going to go park over here at the main building. Okay, we are in. Parking brake is on. Engine one off, engine two off. Love the bird. <laughs> it's annoying. So there you go, we're way off on the on the parking, that's fine. 
I, I was too busy looking at the map. But there we go. We're in. We're good. I'm happy with that. So there we go, guys. We made it. We made it. We made our first flight. Uh, I think it's some kind of parrot. It is. It is. It's a sun canoe. Maybe on the, the next flight, I'll let him sit on my shoulder. He bites. That's the problem. So there we go, guys. We have made it. We're pretty damn happy. Oh. And, uh, yeah. No failures. Thought it was going to be a terrible landing. I'm not going to lie. I was getting a little bit worried when the ILS wasn't going to come in. Um... But we did it. We actually did it. A bird reveal. Does everybody want to meet the bird before we go? Is this is this something that that has to happen? Is it? Just waiting to find out is that something that you guys want to see? Oh, for God's sake. Okay, give me one second. I think I'm back. <laughs> Let me meet the bird. The bird is here. Say hello. What are you looking at? To be fair, he wanted to be my uh, he wanted to be my co-pilot. <laughs> Say hello, Rio. There's a lot of wires and stuff here. Come on, my shoulder. Can you go on the other shoulder, maybe? Come on, step up. There you go. And that one. No biting, no chewing. Wait. So there you go, guys. Orange is the best. <laughs> yeah, the camera doesn't do it justice, but it doesn't help that I'm string at lower quality as well. Um what? <laughs> okay. <coughs> You're shouting orders here. Well he 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 knows how to fly, so there there is a difference here. Oh yeah, the bird on the green screen, that won't help, yeah. Oh, okay. Yeah, I didn't even think about that. Yeah, of course he's green, so the green screen would knock him out. <laughs> Is this somebody that you'd want involved in our flights going forward? He says yes.
Okay, guys. Well, that is a very terrible parking. Uh, we'll get better at that. <laughs> he should be in flights. Okay, we we can do something going forward. We can definitely do something going forward. <laughs> he likes to be involved. He does like to be involved, that's for sure. Okay, guys, well, thank you uh, for joining the stream. I know what it's like to have a bird. I say milk it. <laughs> you laugh at the pill on the shelf. To be fair, he's pretty well behaved. Sometimes. Yeah. <laughs> well, thank you for joining me on the stream. Um, I am going to be bringing more X Plane 11 to the channel. I do plan to do at least one weekly flight. Uh, that is the kind of plan, anyways. Um, hopefully, you guys enjoyed it. Hopefully, it wasn't too bad. I said I, I messed something up on the on the setup of the M MCDU, but the problem was after it crashed out once, I kind of was rushing, so I probably missed it myself. Um, so I do apologise for that, but that that happened. I've done it. Um. <laughs> uh, but yeah, so look. Other than that, I, I think it went all right. We we took over. It was getting quite late in the flight before I realised it wasn't going to work on the ILS, which is a shame. But you know, we we came in this way. We we nailed the landing pretty much. I think anyone uh, anyone would be pretty happy with that landing. Hope you all were clapping when we got all the wheels on the floor. No bad. All right. So anyways, yeah, so thank you very much. Thank you for the thousand subscribers. I'm sure so this video is a little bit late. Obviously now I've gone up a little bit more than that. Like I said with COVID-19, it was pretty hard to get a camera. We got something sorted. Uh, it will it will get better. Um, it's the first time doing this all together. So look, I will do more. I don't think I'm going to do every video I post with uh, my face at the moment. I know someone said that to me earlier. Um, I think well, I will leave the camera to live streams for the minute, maybe. We'll see. If you guys want to see my face on all videos, fine. Um, maybe, you know, whoever's on the Discord, Twitter, let me know. We can kind of have a chat about it. We'll, we'll work that out. Um, but yeah, thank you for everyone that's been involved today. It's been good fun. Uh, hopefully I'll see you at the next flight. Big Rio. And uh, I'm going to disappear. So I'm going to sit in the chat for you guys for a couple of minutes, say goodbye. I know there's quite a few of you there, so I'm going to be in that. Um, but other than that, from myself, thanks a lot, and uh, I will see you next time. Bye for now.